bum ba dum bum ba dum Hello, Miss. Hi. Welcome to my uh, small little uh, wooden back corridor here. I'm lying. It's not mine. This guy made it. Uh, Zved, Zved, Zved. I'd go with that. Yeah, Zved looks good. Uh, we're playing this guy's adventure map. It is called. Oh, oh, I've forgotten already. Under dirt. Under dirt. It's called under dirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go, as it says here. Welcome to Underdirt, a map made by Zvid. This is an adventure map, so please follow the storyline and rules to enjoy it in the best way. Also, thanks for downloading the map. You're welcome, Zvid. Don't forget to leave a response on the forum topic or a YouTube video. Yay, we're doing what he says. Yay. <laughs> also, check out my channel, uh, Zvid Ing. I presume this is his English channel, and what do you reckon? Does he have a German one? Very po possibly Swedish. Uh, thanks a lot to Minkias. Possibly. How do you reckon you pronounce that? Um, uh, I have no idea. No, I don't Minkay. know either. Uh, for helping build the map, check out his YouTube. That one there. Okay, cool. Uh, rules are pretty simple. Don't break anything. Play on normal. Turn the command blocks on. That's all right. Uh, don't place anything. Follow storyline, we're allowed to enchant and stuff, blah blah blah. And these are quest chests. Quest chest. Quest chest? Quest chest. -na 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 -na. Quest chest. Sorry. Um. <laughs> so, what do you reckon these two without. Uh. Ah, they're empty chests. Aww. Tease. Such a tease. So, uh, do you reckon we should go on up the ladder and find out what we're doing here? Uh, yeah, looks like the only way out. Uh, there was a load of stuff on the forum about, like, you know, we, we've moved into a city or something. I, I, I can't remember exactly. Quest to Martin. That's that's Martin, Martin, like Littlewood, right? I have no idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you're such a good YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Today's... Uh, another day has begun. Another uh, usual day in the city of Blastwood 23. Almost the same as yesterday. You've lived here for two months now. Quite a memorable time. But still, you, still you're new to all of these city feelings. Well, talk about the city. You own a little house on the outskirts of the city. Um, some might say the suburbs. Yeah, um, still far away till you can own. Uh, still far away till you can own something bigger. I presume that means we've still got a way to go until we can own something bigger. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even have a job. The money is starting to run out. At least you have some friends here, but not that many. I, I'm having a boring time, you say to yourself. Go on. I'm having a boring time. <laughs> That's it. I'm going out. Uh, you, start your, you start your today's journey. A sigh. Glad that I have remembered I have to visit Martin today. Oh, it's not Martin Littlewood, it's just Martin. All right, there we go, free shout out to in the Littlewood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he told me that I, that I should come. He has some important news. Well, now you've got a quest. Go see your friends. <laughs> it's quite easy. Just find out where Martin lives. And then it gives us an address. Find street number three. Sweet. Oh, uh, quest done. We, 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 done. Yay! 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 We found our friends. <laughs> well, we haven't found our friends. We just found the address because it was written down on the same page that told us to go find the address. Uh, this nice, nice internal decoration here. Well, well, any, 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 anything to say on the the decoration? My my only uh, point here is this daylight sensor is inside. Oh wow! Yeah, that's not very convenient. It's not, is it? Um, I like the piston things here. The pointless buttons. I think that's supposed to be left up, surely. It's to look like your kitchen appliances and utilities, right? It looks good. Ah, uh, good. Yeah. There's a chest there There's with some steak in it. Is there steak in there? Yeah. Well, I'm going to take a, a, steak, a stack of steak. Well, not a stack, but yeah, one of these 11 stacks. Right, are we ready to go out and face... Oh, it's dark. Ooh. Do you have a feeling we're supposed to be doing this in the morning? Because we're supposed to have woken up, right? Yeah, we could be night owls and... Uh... Oh, that's it. We're all vampires, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is Pine Street number two. With a doorbell that opens the door. Nice. Oh, it's because there's no. Oh, it, it's the anti mob device. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. 
That makes sense. It does, doesn't it? So, here we are, suburbs of a city. The great city, uh, the great city of I've forgotten. Uh, Blastwood 23. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't at all have to just check my book. You know, I'm going to uh, climb this tree here and have a look about. Okay. You think that's, think that's a good idea? Yep, I'm with you on that one. Oh, I can't get, oh, can't get up the vines. Because I don't know about you, but this is what I do when I visit a city. Every time I find myself in some strange place, I just uh, go climb the biggest tree I can so I can get a, get a feel of what the, the area is like. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, Seems cool. legit, right? Yeah, what's the view like from up there? Uh, long. <laughs> there's a house next to us, there's what I can only assume is a monorail, and then there's some buildings. So that was nice and informative. Right. Have you found anything in this time? No, a nice road, a little cottage next door to us. What? What's the number? Oh, I'll go and have a mosey. Number three, Number Pine three. Street. We're looking for Vine Street. Um, I, I, do you reckon he did that to confuse us? Maybe. Uh, th th this guy's got an entirely black house in there. Oh, have I lost you? Are you all the way over there now? Sorry, I was just having a wander. I'll come back uh, to the house. Oh, look, look, look. No, no, no. Over here, we've got some signs. Pine Street. Gre did he say to play it on easy? Normal. Normal. What are we on? I've just noticed that, yeah, we're on normal. Where's all the bad guys? Um, maybe you want to turn your clouds off if we're up that high. Are we, are we really up that high? Oh my, we are. We're at Y129. Oh, wow. Yeah, so turn your clouds off. That, that might, work, might work well. Oh, it was on the right-hand side. That, there you go. Awesome. Yay. Right. So, I wonder why we haven't got any mobs then. I, I think this is like a safety point. Obviously, it's because we're uh, um, well, in a city. So we're in Greyhound. Greyhound Street. So Greyhound Street is this one. We're looking for Pine Street. So I'm going to run down here to the next. Hoop, 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 hoop. <laughs> Vine Street. Right, what number Vine Street? Uh, uh, three. Let me just check the last page. Yep, number three Vine Street. Oh look, there's big buildings to our right. Oh, there's a park here and everything. It's quite nice, isn't it? Splish. <laughs> ah, hello. Hi. Oh, uh, playground. Oh, I'm going to play on the playground. Wee. Wee. Oh, look. There's like adult seating for you here and everything. Oh wow, really? <laughs> Run up here, all the way across there! Oh look, it's a mini parkour... Uh, oh! <gasps> I'M BURNING IN THE GRAND LAVA! <laughs> ah! No? No, should we carry on? <gasps> Sun's coming! We're gonna turn to... we're gonna start sparkling soon. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's go hide! <laughs> right, we're looking for num... oh, what's, what's this big, big one here? Vine Street number nine. Oh, number wow. nine. Oh look, number nine Vine Street is a uh, a football stadium. More importantly, look at that Blastwood symbol over there. To your right. To your right. To your right. Oh, you can't see it. I can't. Ah, oh, shame. Let's go this way then. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you and your puny view distance. Oh yeah. Eight C. Right. Oh wow, I'm gonna run into this world hole. Ah. Be gone with you. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Right. Have you been checking signs on the way? <laughs> no. Not 8A. Okay. So we we got 9 and 8. We we must be going down. So we're still on Vine Street. What, what's this road called? Just so we know. Flower Street. No. Vine Street 7. It's been early, at least we're going down it. See, I've got a feeling this is made by uh, an English person trying to do the American grid system. Because, as, as I learned yesterday, <laughs> uh, American numbers generally don't start down low because they, they have block numbers, like the 100 block, the 200 block, the 300 block. So they start 100, 100, 200, and 3. They might only go up to like 120 odd. Um, and then the next one will start 200. Okay. 
Uh, Vine Street carries on down this way. So yeah, there we go. There's some interesting information that you can stroke your chin at and impress people with mm. at parties. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Vine Street one. Oh, he lives in the cottage. That's nice. Well, how does one of our friends live in such an uh, upmarket place? You'd expect him to live in a flat or something. <gasps> Martin! It is Martin Littlewood. Oh, uh, Lightwood. That, that's almost a complete rip-off there, isn't it? <laughs> so we have a new quest in the quest chest. I, I'm going to speak to this guy. He'll trade piston faces for piston faces. Okay. Yeah, I've not seen that before. I, I assume that just means he is just our friend and not, not up for... Thing. You alright, mine? I'm just going to snoop around your place. I hope you don't mind. Mine's, uh, you know, our lifelong friend. Uh, we've known him since school. He's now a uh, uh, um, professional hooker. Um, <laughs> that's why he spends all his time at home. Um, he is also a vampire. You can tell by the sparklies. Look, see, because it's daytime. See, sparkling. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, way. see, we're all vampires here. Um, I particularly enjoy his map of water. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, oh, man, you've got no stuff to steal. Oh, wow. I'm, ne I'm nearly... I'm nearly dying of hunger. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. I've got a feeling I'm in survival. Quest 2 and washing powder. Yeah, you read washing powder. Seems like something you should read. <laughs> Slightly sexist, are you? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> you walk into Martin's house. Hi Martin! Martin. Hi. <laughs> Martin is working and doesn't even hear you say hi to him. Now you talk a little Ew. bit louder. Ew. Oh, we've just been talking about what he does. Ah, oh. I'm out of here! Ah. Hi Martin! <laughs> oh, he finally notices you. Oh, oh hi! No. <laughs> With his mouth full. I totally forgot that you would come today. <laughs> <laughs> All this work is distracting me. Also, I forgot. Ah, oh, I forgot why I wanted you to come here either. Darn it. That doesn't bother you, because you didn't have anything to do. Then nah, Martin looks I'm a at bum. you and comes up with an idea. <laughs> hey, could you possibly help me gather some stuff? I'm very busy, so I don't have the time to go to the shop today. Can you please buy me some washing powder from the supermarket? That would be very helpful, and I would thank you a lot. Well, you don't have anything to do, so accept to do a favour. Ah, right, awesome. Let, let's do that. Right, I'm going to read quest number two. New quest! Get some washing powder from the supermarket on Quartzine Street number six. Yeah? Yeah. That, that, that's it. That's all I said. I thought I'd go for a bit epic there. Oh. Quest! We are questing for washing powder! <laughs> that sounds about right for you. I mean, <laughs> trip to the shop is pretty much a quest. Verily, the companions set forth on their blistering epic journey! What was the street name? <laughs> um, Quartzen Street? Okay, where, where do you reckon the shop is? That looks like a shop. Does that look like a shop to you? Oh, you're so far behind. There, you go in front. Boing, 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 boing. We're, we're going kangaroo style, are we? Hey, boing, ba doing, ba doing, ba doing, ba doing. <laughs> right, uh, so this is Lillipad Shop, shop uh, Lillipad Street. Somebody in there. Ah, it's Lillipad Street. Uh, we're allowed to um, trade and stuff. Armory. Okay, well, we don't really have anything to trade with right now. Oh, well, look. Worthless stuff for free. Uh, I'm going to get the wooden sword and some leather stuff. Okay. Oh, well. 2B, 2B. Did 2B you get a bow? Uh, no. No, I'll take some arrows just in case. Just in case we manage to get one somewhere. So! Fully armed up, we're going for a walk around town. <laughs> Always good. I am slightly confused as to why there's not been that many bad guys. I know, especially as they supplied armour and weapons. Let's just double check my, uh, yeah, difficulty normal. I know, I know this is now a triple check, not a double check, but uh, we're not looking for Lilypad Street, we're looking for Quartrazine Quart Quart Street, something like that. It begins with Quartz. <laughs> This one. You found it? I've, I found the street. So now we're looking for a supermarket. Tools and weapons. We're looking for number six. Number six. Oh, I like this. I'm going to have a quick mosey down here. I'm just, I'm just uh, admiring the, the architecture. Number three. 
Which number are we looking for? Number six. So oh, where have you gone? Down the side. Number four. Oh wow, really? Down which side? Oh, down here. Is that Cortezine Street or whatever? Yeah, it is. Now, go down this way. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I can't go in here. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just going to randomly like raid a thing. Yeah, in true RPG style, we'll just... Uh, Are you with me? Uh, I'm not. Oh, I'm no, behind I'm, you. I'm back on Flower Street, so I'm coming back to join you. Not the right way to go. Uh, quest 6, we're not looking for quest 6, we're looking for quest number 3. Right, I reckon we're uh, a bit further down the main road. Dum 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 Number five. Jogging along. I, I always find it a little bit confusing that people put like yeah you know, actual roads in Minecraft. Um because you know there's no actual cars. No, I know, I've often wondered about that. But it makes it more realistic. Quest number three. Don't read if you have Ah, oh, supermarket's closed. What? Ah. Oh. oh no. Oh. Ah, uh, do you want to read quest number three? Okay, let's have a look. You come to the market, but for unknown reason, it's closed. That's strange, because it should be open on all weekdays, and today is Tuesday. So is it's it? weird. <laughs> what now? Is there a phone to call for somebody to explain this? This is a very small city. So this is the only food market in the whole city. But then you remembered that you know a guy who works in this shop. Maybe he can answer. And you have to get that washing powder to Martin or else he'll be dirty for the next week. And he's <laughs> dirty all the time. No, he sounds dirty, doesn't he? New quest. Ask Jacob, the worker, why is the supermarket closed today? On Luxury Street number four. Okay. Uh, I just came running up this uh, this little thing here because there was parking at the top. I now realise that this is a car on ramp, not a thing, uh, a, a, a walkway. Oh, right, okay. so where are we going? Luxury Street. Now I've not seen a Luxury Street yet. Have you seen a Luxury Street yet? No, I haven't. Oh look, it's an empty shell of a building. Th this this city must be really down on its luck. Like we live in quite a small town, right? Yep. And we have more than one food shop. That's very true. <laughs> Don't we have like three supermarkets? It's what, on the high street alone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we have, no, we have three actual supermarkets, you know, many, many aisles. And then we have on the high street two... Like express... Express supermarkets. We're, we're not going to say the first name of the express because, you know, that's... that's That'd be advertising. Lu lu luxury Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you know, that, that particular... Well, in fact, all the companies are evil. Yeah, they are. Don't, don't have to say any names in particular. They're all just evil. Mainly because they're not giving me money. <laughs> um, but they'll give luxury you Street money number in, uh, four. Where, where did Jacob live? Number four. Number four. So we came straight to the right place. Awesome. Jacob! Ja <gasps> Jacob! Oh my god. He's called Jacob and he's actually sparkling. I'm slightly worried. I missed the relevance. Yeah, I thought you might. Uh, hi, Jacob. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, you also say pistons twice. I'm going to raid the place. Do you want to... Oh, in fact, you raid the place. I'm going to check the book. Um, okay, I'm going to go and have a quick look. The book is called Keykeeper, which I presume is like, you know, one of those 90s uh, Filofax ones, yeah? The Keykeeper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can play a tune. Hey, Jacob. Can you explain why the market is closed today? I don't know either. They didn't tell. They didn't tell. I didn't even meet them at all. <laughs> Do you think they mean instead of they, they mean the bosses? <laughs> uh, I didn't even meet them all the. I didn't even meet them. All the workers except me are gone. I think there's supposed to be a comma there. Well, Rebecca is still here, but she doesn't go to the job often. I need to buy some stuff. In a, I need a way to get in there. Is there? Is this the only market we have in this city? You can ask. Re you can ask the key. Ask the key from Rebecca. I don't think English is this guy's first language. No, I struggled a little with the grammar. Okay, well, w I will struggle on and try my best. But I'm not sure if she's home. You can you can still try. She lives at oh, Quartrazine Street, number seven. Back we go then. Uh, wait, another page. Sorry. Well then, I need to go now. I really need that washing powder. 
New quest. Get the key from Rebecca, Rebecca on Quartrazine Street. It doesn't help that I can't speak anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Quartrazine Street. Number seven. Seven Quartrazine Street. <gasps> oh my god, we've been doing this all day. All day. Martin, best bloody appreciate this. Yeah. So, what what is this open spot here? I was too busy chatting about the evils of supermarkets to uh, actually take in what this is. It seems to be just some sort of lit wooden structure bit. It doesn't actually seem to have a purpose. Uh, I don't know. I, I'd like to think it's some sort of bus stop. You can take some shelter here, but I don't uh, think it is. May maybe. Well, they need a, a little sign or something, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, running on. Mm. So there's a massive tunnel down there with a grate across it. Can you see that far? No, <laughs> you can't see no, that I far. No, I can't see that far. <laughs> uh, what number were we looking for again? Oh, my memory is so bad. Number seven. Number seven, number seven. So the shop was number three. Number seven, look. Yay! Ha 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 ha! Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, number one, number one at number seven. Quest number five, Rebecca Yellow. Rebecca's yellow. Uh, it's another piston one. Do you want to do quest number five then? Are we on quest number five? Um, do you mind doing it while I eat? Cause I'm getting close to starving. Are you dying? Yeah. Are you dying? Well, I'm not quite dying, but books and stuff. So, you're here to get a key. I'm sorry, I cannot offer it uh, you it, because I lost it. <laughs> I'm not very good at keeping things, but I do like to read. Do you like to read? If you do, we can talk about books, criticise them and choose the next books we want to read. I want to start a book club, but I don't have friends who read books. Well, I don't have friends at all, because of my silly voice. <laughs> but that's not the case here. I have to read the book Ragdoll Olympics by Paige Llewellyn. Page Llewellyn. <laughs> and it was very SHUT UP! You're getting annoying, you say to her. You now turn around sad. Hang on, turn around. Ha. Huh. Because <laughs> uh, there is no way to get into the market. Now there's only one thing you can do. You have to go to the metro and drive to the closest market. Go to the metro at Li uh, Lillopad. It is Lillopad. I thought I'd misread that because of my text glitches. Uh, uh, number three. Okay. Right. We ready for this? Yep. We re oh wait, I haven't raided the place. Wow, this girl does like books, doesn't she? Oh wow. Gold bars. Oh wow, really? Um should should we uh should we steal her money? I'm gonna steal her money. <laughs> it says bar, blast woods currency. And then lots of paper. Cheers, Becca. Robbed you blind. We're off now. <laughs> Such a good friend. Ah, oh, I love her. Yeah, she's she's always there to help me out when I need. Right, Lilo Pad was the next one over, as far as I can remember. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go down this little side street here. Oh, it's a flyover. It's not a footbridge. Oh, well. right. Uh, where where are we? Flower Street. No, we don't want Flower Street, do we? No. That's my travelling music, if you hadn't guessed. Um, it's beautiful. I, I know. I, I've spent many years composing and working upon that particular piece. So do we, oh, that's Flower Street. We're on Vine Street. Vine Street. Uh, where did we see Lillipad Street? Back where we came from, maybe? Back, back in that direction, wasn't it? Um oh I'm also starving. <laughs> oh I wonder where we're gonna get like stuff from. I'm not sure. Where are the mobs? Vine Street, Fern Street. I don't know, where are the mobs? Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Do you reckon that's the metro over the no, that's Greyhound Street, isn't it? No, this is Pine Street, isn't it? Ah, uh, we're lost! Uh, uh, uh. I tell you, you, you go that way and check. I'm going to go this way and check. Okay. 
and maybe, just maybe, we'll find us somewhere. Do you think maybe it was close to that building that we couldn't work out, the one that was fairly similar to a bus stop? If we'd have walked around the outside of that, we'd have found some sort of... Um, I think that's maybe a possibility. No, Greyhound Street is... This is Greyhound Street. So that's Quartz. I, we've, we've, we've seen it. We've seen it in our travels. Uh, I'm going what I am classifying as north. I have no idea if I'm actually looking north. I'm just going to press S3. No, I'm going east. <laughs> and Pine Street again. Look. Okay. Hmm. What we need is a little map. Fancy along. Oh yeah, that would be uh, an advantage. It would be handy, wouldn't we? Wouldn't it? Even if just some way of explaining what the grid system was. So I found Fern Street and Luxury Street again. So I'm sure we found... Ah! Ah, it's the top one. It's up here. In fact, I've even found the metro, I believe. Uh, so do you remember where Martin's place was? Le Patou? Uh, Baby. Le he Le lived Patou. on Luxury Street, didn't he? Martin lived all the way up on... Um, uh, uh, Quartzen Street, not yeah, Quartzen Street. Oh uh, wow! So I need to come back because I saw that. Uh, you, you need to go east. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, that's I? west. So turn around one eighty. Oh wow! Where? Are, oh, where are, what's this? It looks like I'm near a hospital. I'm on Quartzen Street at the moment. Just to uh, give you a yeah, I, I'm sure I just passed it when I was uh. Let's fire up. So there. I'm on Lillo Patch Street. That's not good. So In oh my I experience, fire is not a. Hello, I see Hi. you as well. I, I'm just uh, spotting things off in the distance. Right, Lillo Patch Street. I do believe the one we're on. Yep. All right, we're looking for number three. Uh, that's number one, Quartzen Street. That building over there is number two. Is this one number three? Number three, and look, it's even got a rail on the thing above it. Yay. Closed? Why are you closed, villager? Um, quest number six, are we on to six? Yep. It sounds about right, doesn't it? <coughs> Panic. Something is not right. People are missing, stores closed, and now even the metro is closed. You see a panic panicking lady standing and talking to herself. How am I going to get back home? <laughs> do you like my girl voice? No, it's I, I think it's, it's brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> I'm just a visitor. How do I get back? You come closer to her. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, you come closer to her and ask her, What's going on? Why is everything shut? Woman who's obviously confused? I want answers. I don't know. I just want to get back. Everything, every possible exit is blocked. You can't drive out with a car. The metro is closed. The monorail is closed. And even the helicopter is... The helicopter? We have a helicopter? They have, we're getting out on the helicopter. If we have a choice, we are leaving by helicopter. <laughs> There's oh, no God. way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a high five before we <laughs> jump on the back. <laughs> I have to get back. If I don't get back, I'll miss my favourite TV show. At this point, I'm not going to read. I'm just going to strangle her. Yep. On the spot. <laughs> now you're confused. There's no way out. Everything's closed. There has to be a reason for all of this. That there's no closer speech marks, but I presume this sounds a little bit narrative. Uh, but you have to get out too. Isn't there another possible... Why do I have to get out too? I live here. I don't know. Uh, I've got quite a nice house out in the suburbs, right? Apparently uh, so, yeah. We haven't uh, seen it yet, but... Isn't there any other possible way? Will you be trapped here for weeks? Weeks? I'm not sure why he specifies weeks. You have to find out what's going on. Well, there's a science centre right next to the metro. <laughs> they might know what's going on. Go to the science centre on number two Lillipod, Lillipod Street. In the name of science, let's for go. science! <laughs> Oh, another, another day shining and we've not had any monsters. It still feels odd. It does, doesn't it? Look. 
Uh, retro Science Centre. Retro Science Centre? Like, what, we're doing 1950s science? <laughs> oh, I hope not. Yeah, that stuff was dangerous. Yeah, let me stand on this for you. Thanks. I know how bad you were suffering with doors. Uh, volume by Zvid. Where is everyone? It's so quiet here. There must be someone up on the radio tower because the radio was still on at Martin's. Well, this this radio t radio tower here. Um, I'm just exploring the uh, science place. So I hope you don't. <gasps> oh, wow! Th is this supposed to be a blade? Am I uh, actually supposed to be getting chopped up here? Oh wow! Um, uh, even the door won't open. I've lost you. Where did you go? Uh, I went this way. Crawl through the air conditioning ducts. Now over this flan blade. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's right, I jammed it with my shoe. Ah, sweet. <laughs> um, ro roller blind. Nice. Nice. So, what, what, what do you think's happened to everyone that's not been trapped? Because, uh. you know, a city kind of denotes lots of people, right? Oh, I found a secret chest. Book of Wisdom, Power 3. How are we supposed to enchant that? Uh... Was it mine's? No, it wasn't Martin's. Jacob's house had an enchanting table. Oh, really? Oh, I seem to have found my way into a maze. There's water here. Am I in some sort of like reactor pile or something? Um. Oh, oh, please come and help me out. Please, 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 please. Oh, please. wow, but I don't know where you went. Uh, you just uh, wandered off. Uh, I can see your name tag. Please come this way. Oh. Oh, here. Can you open this door? No. Oh. No button. Oh, stand here and get the stuff. Stand here and get the stuff. Oh. Oh, it's alright. I've still got my stuff. That's handy. Woo! How did you open the door? On the other side, there's a... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pressure plate. Oh, okay. I thought I'd be clever and go check out the bit with water in it and swim up and see what's going on. It turned out that being clever was was a death trap. Well done. Um, right, so I don't know about you, but I think this little journey of a walk might be a good time to wrap up our first episode. Yeah. Do you want to meet me at the front door? And I'm going to say bye-bye, people. Thanks very much for joining us for this adventure. It's been a bit of a confusing one. I'm still not sure what's going on. Do you know what's going on? No, I'd say virus, zombies, something along those lines. <laughs> okay, well, uh, hopefully you'll catch us back here soon on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.